Coming at you from Scratch Your Wolf Studio. It's Rage Across the Internet presents Wherever Gaia Takes Us, a werewolf the apocalypse let's play. Starring Daniel Tyson as Ricochet. M as Carly Emberstring. CJ as Nightfang. And I'm your storyteller Porter. The Path, Part 4. Several hours have passed. You all find yourselves well rested, though the sun has not gone down. It is later, for it feels perhaps maybe like mid-afternoon? But whatever time this realm runs on, it isn't anything you're used to. Time is weird here. Yeah, I didn't know much about Pangea coming into this, but it being primordial, I feel like I've learned a lot. Like, there should be like four or five more suns. I think maybe it's just not rotating as fast. Or at all. Like, it's the same for me. That's fair, yeah. Do you guys think you can, like, watch me and make sure I'm not, like, you know, murdered for a couple minutes while I do this right? We'll protect you. Yeah. The uh, rest will have restored your willpower and gnosis. Fancy stuff. Um, in that case... Uh, to do my prayer of the seeking, I do need to use a, a gnosis point, and I do a wits ritual difficulty seven because I only have snake skin and not a new Tina scale. Okay. Forget to tell us what you're doing. Um, I am going to, uh, you know, shift into Hamid. I'm going to dig around in my bag to pull out my snake skin. It's like a little bracelet. Um, and I'm going to, you know, hold it and I'm just going to meditate with it. Um, while I kind of think about the um, item that we are seeking from Coho Jack. Okay. Kind of attuning um, my focus to my intentions. And uh, I have five successes. And I'm praying to Great Utina as I do it, you know, holding my focus. Begging them to help us and aid us on this journey. To find the big green emerald for every two successes. So that's two. I add one dice to any enigma, investigation, or occult role while searching for the object in question. So I just get two extra dices for those types of like searching or inquiry rolls. Okay. I'm gonna hold it. Hmm. Great Tina. Please aid me in my journey to find the dark green emerald that we have been sent here to have. Meep. Your wisdom will be your, your wisdom will be greatly appreciated on this journey. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. My heart started racing instantly. <laughs> you noticed I even looked up. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was ready, like, okay, it's time, it's time to go. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, she continues her meditations. The two of you. Standing guard, protecting, making sure nothing's coming at us. Running through some trading stuff, you know, getting stretched limber and just 
bouncing back between forms while I can. All right. Which is extra nice, considering the laws of the realm. So that's easier. So mm-hmm. hooray. An appropriate amount of time has passed, and uh, currently emerges from Zelda Kiev. So I'm good until I good. Re- yep. Yeah. If I if I sleep, I'll have to do it again. But you should be good. Um, Want to point out where this village was? You saw. Dare I have you guys roll? <laughs> I was going to say we just walked to that. <laughs> Close. I don't want to get too close this time, but to the <laughs> end edge of that cliff. This this uh, right even says in difficult scenarios, the storyteller can drop hints and forms of omen, omens, waking visions, or intuitive leaps to get the ball rolling. But we do have that village to go to. So that is actually nice to have, but not yeah. maybe now. At this point, but n- <laughs> nonetheless, yeah. in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is something we have at our disposal. Okay. All right, yeah, so if we got a roll, I'll roll. <laughs> yeah, dare I, but let's let's see those rolls. Perception alertness. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you don't have to. I'm, yeah, I'm pointing Yeah, because you already know what you're looking at yep. before. So. Okay. Uh, what diff? Yeah, I'm just going to say focus. It's far out, but focus. Three. Uh, Standard unless otherwise, Siege. Okay, five. That's all he needed was some rest. Right. Last time he jumps in the goddamn river. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. All right. As um, before, it is a sizable descent. Um, it's like far. But you can see after the waterfall, there's a river that extends down. You see the area seems to be jungle. Not as thick as before. There's still light. But it's uh, maybe moderate kind of jungle environment. You can see the edges down, down in the distance. You can see a village. Just a couple of huts. But, you know, before it's obfuscated uh, by the tree cover. But there is signs of civilization down there. Interesting. One of it expected to see a village. Let's start heading down, I guess. You guys ready yeah. for a climb? Or do you think we could find a safer way down? It just might take a lot longer. Hey, let's not spend more time in here than we need to. Let's just get down. Yeah, you guys are strong you guys, lads. You can uh, do it. You guys got your strength? Yeah, yeah climate's not a problem. <laughs> Especially not when rested. Okay. Forms? Shifting to Krynos. Krynos. I'm going to be using Spirit of the Lizard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fingers. <laughs> so, Lupus, and I'm just going to run down and see you dicks at the bottom. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lupus, why not? <laughs> Spider Wolf, here we go. Spider Wolf. Spider wolf. Hey, you did the webs earlier as well. <laughs> I did. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm spider wolf. <laughs> Arachnolupia. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> I hope you don't slip. I'm just going to walk figure eights around them. <laughs> what an down. asshole. That'll be the new deed name. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> what an asshole, yep. All right. Nightfang and Ricochet. Mm-hmm. Let's do... I mean, it's, it's going to be Strength Athletics. I'm going to sacrifice three levels of bashing to add three dice to it. That is wonky as shit. Um, M, odds or evens? 
Dots. Diff seven. Okay. For you guys. So oh, and and that one's gift gives you a minus three difficulty to climbs. Also spending a willpower to ignore all wound penalties for the rest of the scene. You don't have any wound penalties. Well, I just did bashing. Oh, right. Of the, the, yeah. But I did Sorry. The, I did it as resist pain gift, not as the uh, okay. thing. So so hmm. I'm just gaining three extra dice of this. Strength athlet. Okay. Seven. So, Jesus. And see, so you guys couldn't... <laughs> You're like, no, we couldn't possibly hide from these on this cliff face. Well, we have strength now. <laughs> you didn't yeah. before. I was, no, we just didn't think about it. We're, yeah, we're, you, we're you guys. Did <laughs> each and every one of you had the fucking tools to make that super easy. <laughs> we're, we're, we're well rested yep. now. You were not exhausted at the point. I, I was injured and panicked. <laughs> that, it makes sense. It's just funny if you think about it, right? Like all the extra it trouble is. you guys went through. <laughs> yep. We're over here just climbing all the near down. death experience. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> or for me. Firewolf. God damn it. Five. So that is four for Nightfang, five for Ricochet. And mm-hmm. Carly, what do you got? I don't need to roll unless I'm running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just hold on unless I'm running, fighting. Or um, pulling somebody. So if I do anything other than just walk, I have to roll. You have to spend nothing to activate? Oh, sure I, had, I spent a gnosis, yeah. Oh, okay. So you heard you did. Okay, well... <laughs> damn, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna say it takes you a good... Uh, I mean, at this point, it's not even dangerous. <laughs> it would have I think been. It would down the cliffside. No, for real. Like this, this was going to be this harrowing fucking climb. Several strength checks. The difficulty would have been variable, but fucking between minus three diff and and Danny adding a hundred to a strength roll three, and you just being able to spiders man down. There's. <laughs> Okay. An extra three parts to this chapter that were so unnecessary. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're incompetent. <laughs> no, it's, it's hindsight 2020. Right? The pack was panicking, not Re- thinking straight, not right. remembering. <laughs> we, you can just climb. It's a lesson t- for another time, right? We've learned a lesson. <laughs> we'll be smarter next time. <laughs> All right. Well, um, it takes uh, maybe a good hour, two hours. I mean, time's a wonky thing. Uh, before you reach the the end of the basin, the water, the end of the waterfall, this beautiful pool. It it seems it's it's pretty calm down here. You're you're further away from the heat of the day. It is it is a uh, very jungle esque at this point. But again, it's it's light. The, the canopy isn't so thick that you can't see beyond it. The pool, the base of the waterfall, uh, extends to uh, a river, as you saw from your vantage point before. The wild and dangerous rapids from up top are not the case here. It's fairly calm and serene. While you can still hear wildlife, things are much more subdued. Hmm. All right. So. Oh. Just follow the river, then, I guess, until we get near the village. Yeah. I know, after everything we've already been through this, you would think <laughs> I would be relieved, but kind of got a little bad feeling. Always have a bad feeling, Ricochet. Yeah, well, very rarely have I been wrong about him. The little kid with the toy? Uh Uh-huh. How about it? You didn't see Uh, the way it was staring at me. 
Like oh it, my god. Like it oh focused. my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's not go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> We've already... No, we're down another rabbit hole as it is. All right, let's just go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shift them down into Lupus to help keep a lookout for anything. Yeah, let's see if we can get to that village before anything else jumps out at us. Okay. And are you two still... Same. Okay. Shifting down Lupus. Yes, okay. staying in Lupus. Making sure there weren't two of you just hulking around in Krynos. I mean, you could be, mm-hmm. but... <laughs> No, I figured it this, lupus. getting down the the waterfall would have been Krynos. As soon as we got down there, it would have been Hamid. But as we get a little closer, now it's lupus. All right. Well, you make your way along the shoreline. I mean, it's still a long journey. Yeah, that's a, it's a few mile. Yeah. We'll use the word stroll. So, uh, who wants to play some bets? What are we running into? <laughs> I think it's like some cannibal tribe. I mean, well, I hope not. If there's a tribe out here, if there, there, there's a tribe out. I mean, we're They're in the not, pocket realm, so it's like a mixture between the two. Right, but think about it. What we've had to go against already. If if there are quote unquote people out here, then. What kind of things have they had to do to survive? What kinds of things are they willing to do to others to keep them as a civilization going? He's not, you're, you're overthinking this. I'm just trying to make some fun. I, I mean... I don't um, think I'm overthinking this at all. I don't think we're thinking about it enough yet. This might so got be, a couple miles. I mean, this might be paranoia, but... You just climbed down a wall, Ricochet. Uh-huh. Um, and we fended off a pack of uh, bone puppy thingies. Yeah. And we ran for hours. Right. You survived I, the herd of beeps. <laughs> I think that... We can handle running into a group of possibly primordial humans. I don't know what it's going to be. I think we can handle it, though, if we put our brains together. I just worry about what we're walking into. We're already here in a pocket realm. Let's make the most of it. We a lot of things here. (laughs) Yeah, well... Hey, just think about it. The kid's not here with his doll. I mean, yeah, you're right. But I don't think whoever this is, they're just going to let us have. We don't even know if they have anything. I mean, you're right. Maybe like some Indiana Jones Guardians of an Artifact, or it might just be, you know, cave people living in huts or animal tribe that's just you know, surviving. Who knows, maybe they got a gift wrap for us and we're like some heroes of prophecy. Literally anything. Hey, yeah. Here's looking to the optimism in that. I like it. As you follow the river, you slow down, moving into the brush as you see a pair of women on the coast. They're filling stone pots with water. There's some children playing in the shadows. The women have sun-baked skin and are clad in two-piece animal hide outfits. You notice curved, tusk-shaped blades at their waist. It's also worth noting they're rather large and muscular. These women are easily six and a half feet tall. Perhaps we just shift up to Glabro and go talk to them. I'll do it. I'm a woman. What do you think? I think you're crazy. It's certainly an idea. Maybe we need a little bit more information, get a little closer to the village, get a better look at everybody. Okay. Before, you know, just wandering out of the woods, say, hi, random people, I am so-and-so. So what's our plan? 
we need to learn more first. Okay, but what does that mean? They say, mean? They say we keep like sneaking through the woods, getting closer to the village. Yes, agreed. If we hear them talking English or, you know, like Gari tongue or something, who knows what these people or, are. Yeah, or if I can understand them in spirit speech. They are on now. Now they are on the other side of the bank, which is helpful to you. Uh huh. The women don't say anything; um, they're just simply filling the pots. Uh, the children are just kind of laughing and making noises, but they're they're very young. You know, maybe three or four. We're guessing because it's like large, but. It's not like they're going bang bang. I shot you. It's you know giggling and splashing. Damn. However, thankfully you are able to probably move on. Let's find out. Let's give us a Dex Stealth because we are moving down the banks to the village. Correct? Yes. I'm just making sure I, I hear that right. Yeah. So yes, please a Dex Stealth. Diff is standard. Mm-hmm. Three for me. Two for me. Three. Okay. The two of you slink on by to the cover of the brush without issue. The third one of you, and I'm not saying names, but <clears throat> steps on a twig. One of the women looks up, noticing. But just gives pause and looks for a minute. Yeah, nothing came out toward them, so back to what she's doing. Let's uh, do another round of perception. Oh, perception rolls. Another round. That's right. As you are nearing said village. Okay. Oh no. If you batch again, you're fired. <laughs> That's a one yeah. for me. That's a five. <laughs> I mean, in, in lupus with a minus two diff, and it's. You guys are factoring that in, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so these rolls are just that embarrassing? I had some ones in that last one. Here's the best part. If it's standard diff, so that I only had one four. Ten, nine, eight, eight, four. And CJ? Yeah, four out of five. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, success is out of five dice. Yeah. We're we're impressed then, so it's just Em's fault. <laughs> yeah, I, I just it, it was, was a, Frankly it's your turn. It, yeah, it's my turn. I just, I had a couple ones and it shot it down to just one success. All right. It happens. It, it, it You're finally focusing on the uh, Mission Impossible <laughs> team machine. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm like a gazelle. My form is perfect. They can't even hear me. Can't even hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, the two of you near the village. You see circular, tropical-style huts made from trees, each with small slat windows and lush green roofs. There are at least 13 of these. A large fire pit at, at the center of these huts, and then a much larger, more rectangular main building that overlooks the other houses in the small village. Beyond that in the main house, almost overlooking the fire pit, is some sort of an altar. It's a large stone with glyphs and, and paintings uh, in white. Atop of this altar, um, maybe eight foot tall, is, is a carefully chiseled and polished divot carved into it. Inside said divot sits a large egg-shaped green jewel. <laughs> yep. You can see the women and children are making their way back down the river to the village. There are, in fact, people milling about, but there's nothing pressing. Yeah. 
So, uh, Jem looks like it's on top of an altar. I doubt they're willing to just give it up. No. That's... You found the gem? Yeah. Yes. We found the gem. Where is it? It's in that <laughs> square house overlooking the rest. It's like an altar, like a shrine almost. Oh, sh- how did I miss that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. It's some some kind of idol, like something they like something they worship. Usually, what you put on an altar or round. Right, but we're not getting out of this. We're just taking it from them. We have to do this. We have to sneak it. We? You, were you going to just ask for it? Can we see the entire pillar or just like the top where the stone is? Well, you can't see a goddamn thing. Your roles reflected that. <laughs> they can. <laughs> okay. You are barely aware you're in the Umbra. I mean, you can ask <laughs> <laughs> I thought they. Po- I thought they pointed it out to me. I mean, fine, but only barely. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Only barely. No, you can see the whole thing. And I mean, to be clear, you have the the, the regular huts, kind of cylindrical huts. You got your big ass fire pit. In front of your fire pit is the altar. And then past that is the large rectangular hut. The big building. Mm -hmm. Is it like super high in the air? It's about eight foot tall. The stone is about eight foot tall. Oh, okay. Okay. So, like, Krinos, you could just reach up and take it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's, I know what I was getting at is, like, yeah, we could try sneaking in and stealing it. But, you know, if worse comes to worse, we can't just grab it and go. I mean, maybe we can go in and learn a little bit more before we do that. I mean, I'm certainly down to try stuff out. I'm just saying we got options. You really want to learn about this and hope we don't get attacked? Yeah, um, you know, learn about it or just walk up to it, grab it, and then something really bad happens when we pull it out of the stone. Yeah, then it's again, worst case, if we get spotted or something happens and they do attack us, then... Just grab it and get out the way we know how. You might be able to pass and grab, bro. Maybe. At the point where you should come up with a plan, what do we want to do? Look, if you really want to learn about this, fine. But as a backup plan, you have Shroud, right? You can grab it and we can get the hell out. And they'll never even right. notice until you're gone. Shroud doesn't move with me. No, but they won't see you grab it until we're gone, right? They won't see. Yeah, they won't even notice sh- it. They won't even notice it's gone until we're gone. I think they'll notice a giant black mass in the middle of their sacred area. Can I make some kind of like a cult or a rituals roll to figure out maybe what this is used for? You can try. Combined with your right, I'm sure maybe I can give you something, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. We'll figure that out. Make your roll, please. Okay, wits. Uh, I'll do rituals. It looks a ritualistic place. Any difficulty for me? Uh, yeah, let's do in rituals and give it a seven. Because if you're going to get this, I'm going to give you something, so it better be worth it. Like the difficulty. One, two, three, four, five. Five tens, look at that, hee hee. It's not five tens. (laughs) Fuck. All I have to do is put this metal thing on the one side of my dice and everything's fine. (laughs) It's my good luck charm. (laughs) Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Based on what you can make out. Uh, between the carvings and the, 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 the paintings on the stone and its position, which is clearly near a communal area, that perhaps this stone is, has a, a protective purpose. That it is perhaps at least they believe they're to ward something off. Mm. Okay. I think maybe it's just... I, th- I think maybe the stone signifies like safety for them like maybe this stone is like their magical item i say in quotation marks with the quote fingers that um protects them i mean this is the umbra so it could actually do that we need it though do we yeah we do Yes. Yeah, Koho Jack says you have to throw it away, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if it's... It's protecting these people. Or maybe they just think it protects them. Look, I, I get it if maybe they are savages and then they came after us, but like... I mean, we're not just going to throw away our quest for... What if What if this was just that? It was just the... That was just the quest. Do, what do you mean? Do I get it? Or That's just what he get said. in here? No, the quest was to come, get the emerald, and throw it off the highest mountain face or highest peak... In Willow's path. It wasn't to come here and have a moral dilemma. Though it is a bit of a moral dilemma, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know much about your totem, but... Does he send you on moral dilemma quests a lot? This is our first quest from him. So, Mm. it's a good thing you're here now. Because... No. I mean... In the umber, right? These are just spirits, right? That look like people. If something happens to them, they just reform, right? Right, a pocket um Yeah, it's all the umbra. I'm just keeping, you know. I was thinking, like, is this really that much of a moral dilemma? I'm just wondering how we get in there and get out. I'm thinking we just cause a distraction and you get it with Shroud, but... but yeah, that, I mean, that could work. Do, do they, do the people look a lot like we would in Glabro? No, they look largely like normal people. I mean, again, very tan, sun bleached. I mean, they live in the fucking, you know... Oh, but they're, they're not just big. Yeah, they're just big. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not like so the we animals. Would, so we would be both out of place in Glabro or Hamid. Correct. You, you're going to stand out no matter what. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Plus, the I'm with stupid t-shirt isn't going <laughs> to... Doubt they can read it. I, that's just that's a, true. <laughs> it's just a regular t-shirt I have on it. <laughs> I was just saying, does the arrow point both ways? <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay. We get into the habit of either overthinking or not thinking enough. Yeah. So we need to find that nice little middle ground. Yeah. How well pre- are there gates around the huts, or is it just like an go and walk on in? You can just walk on in. Oh shoot. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, how big of an area does your shroud gift cover? It depends on how well I summon it, uh, but typically um, it can be. Uh, oh, we're in bright sunlight, though, aren't we? Mm-hmm. We'll call uh, it moderate shade because of the tree cover, but moderate. But like where the thing is, is that moderate shade or bright sunlight where the gem is? I'd call it moderate shade. 
I mean, it's jungly, but it's light jungly. Mm-hmm. Think like if you were hanging out at a park. I guess. Jungle park. I think I could get at least like maybe 20 feet in each direction. Definitely. Maybe, maybe that's at least 20 mm-hmm. feet in each direction. I would not be confident saying I could get further in each direction. Okay. Which with the shroud. Okay, because part of the first idea I had, if we want to do the sneaking in and getting it, getting as close as we can, popping that shroud, grabbing it, then us just running back the way we came. That's an option. Um, Look, uh, Alpha, Mr. Half Moon here. If you don't mm-hmm. think we have any kind of moral dilemma and you don't give a shit about these people, I don't give a shit about these people either. And then we'll just grab it. I mean... But if... They're spirits. Yeah, I mean, this is where the Thayer drum, like, I was asked... I was bringing that up in case, you know, really had something to tell me that I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, I support you on your decision if that's the case, but... I'm pretty sure they're just spirits. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Porter, and I would if I would know better. But I'm, I'm, I mean, we're we're in a. I mean, we're kind of. I mean, yeah, they're they're just sp- spirits, right? Yeah, they're spirits. <laughs> they don't look like it, but I mean, they are. <laughs> I, I we did the. I don't remember which tribe it is, but I remember doing the episode. About what do you mean? There's actual tribes of people in Pangea. That's true, but yeah, they're spirits because yeah. it's the spirit realm. If at any point they were human, their bodies have long been gone. Yeah. No, I I know that Ricochet doesn't. It's it's yeah yeah. Well, yeah. I just thought that was funny because she asked them. <laughs> just a small little existential break for Carly for a moment of like, is this the case? Is it not? What would that change if that's not the case? <laughs> yeah. You had a simple option when dealing with the meeps that we overlooked because, well, panic and overthinking. They say we, uh... I mean, yeah, they're just spirits, so... Grab it, go. As close as we can, get you to drop that shroud. If it, if it doesn't work, then <laughs> yeah. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Right here, let's do this. And if it doesn't work, then we just go to Kratos, grab it, and get out. Hold on, Night Fang, you, me, Krynos. We run in and scare them. Carly, drop your shroud, sneak in, get it while they're distracted. Okay, that could be a good idea. Let me, let me theorize something. A lot of the things we've seen are bigger than our Krinos forms. And they have big hatchets. I'm not so sure they'll be afraid of the Krinos forms. They're not like human. They're, they're not going to delirium, I don't think. They're spirits. I don't know, though. Don't I've we never just... encountered these spirits before. That is, that could be an alternate solution if the the thing doesn't work. At this point, we're just going to be a distraction. We're not going for a fight. It's just to catch them off guard. Take their focus off so you can go in and get what you need to get. Use your shroud as backup. They won't see it. And by the time they notice, we'll be long they gone. They'll see it. They'll see, see the, the shroud. shroud. It's just they can't see inside it. All the more reason. You're loving this, aren't you? I mean, if you really want five part or Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying we smash and grab. Uh, Carly, you got any way to make fire with a gift or something? If you're that dead set on a distraction? No. 
I have some matches. Then, yeah, let matches start oh, and fires. That, and I think some, that's gonna and work. I, and I have I have some arrows. It set some of their huts on I, fire. I, that was that was the idea. If you're that dead set on a distraction, but I think we just get up close, drop the shroud as far as you feel like you could probably get away with it. We wait just on the edge. You run up, grab it, grab us. We go. Okay. Do you know how to, um, you're going to start a uh, fire then? I don't think we need it. It's just if Ricochet really wants to do this distraction. I think the distraction's a good idea. If you, if you start a fire, I'm going to get my backpack off and hand him my box of matches. Because what are the huts made out of? Grass? I mean, they wood? look... Yeah, they look wood and, you know, from tree material. Yeah. Yeah. So here, take my matches. Okay, I'll take the matches from Carly. Yeah, we can try this. And if I fail my sneaking, I'll just howl really loudly. So you can come in and help me. How are we going to be able to help you if we can't see? If I fail... I will howl really loudly. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'll be, so, I'll be nearby Carly, and if we hear this howl, we either all get together or we make it to the cliff as fast as we can. Alright, let me find some stuff I can make larger fires and not just put a match on a wood hut. Eddie, will you repeat the plan for us? And you are going to get as close as you feel like we can to the altar thing, even if it's like getting next to the house, you drop your shroud, go grab it, grab me, we take off, ricochet, in the meantime, you go set a hut on fire, preferably away from us. You hear the howl, or, well yeah, you hear the howl, you either run to us or start running to the cliff. And you hear Carly how you run to us. You hear me how go to the cliff. All right, boss. I'm gonna try and let right, and, we are, and we're waiting for the fire to begin sneaking so that the distraction is elsewhere. Preferably. Okay. I guess first things first. We'll start with Ricochet. What are we doing? I'm going to try and collect some materials to be able to like light something on fire and throw at the huts. Several. Okay. What? I'm in the woods, so I would, I'd, like... Is she trying to say a Branches, rabbit? Branches, vines. Trying to charade grass. I saw, I saw this. I mean, yeah. That, that's, that's the grass sticking up on your I think it was a rabbit running away from being on fire. <laughs> that's an option. And this, yeah, this be <laughs> dead shrub, dead grass, whatever I can get. Okay. Sticks, yeah. Well, I'm like, elaborate, what are you doing with it? Yeah. Try and get, a, like, a, a big stick, light the end on fire, run over to huts. Start lighting all the, the roofs on fire. Okay. Obviously, we're not doing that in lupus. What form right. are we choosing? Once, if I can get a fire going, I'll do it from Krynos. All right. We're probably not running the matches, so Hamid and then? Yes. Is that? Exactly. Okay. Okay. And we're not being subtle about this? No. The first one will be a sneak, and then once it's on fire, then no subtleties out the window. <laughs> sneak the first one. So it catches their attention, and then... Alright, um, we are going to start with a wit survival. Okay. Oh, you lucky prick. Yay. Diff. Standard. Three. Okay. Out of four dice. <laughs> <laughs> and then a... Deck stealth. 
and you will have to beat two. That's not good. I mean, that's for you. I'm gonna spend a willpower for a guaranteed success. <laughs> it's been that kind of day. <laughs> I mean, I only, have, I only have three dice to do this, so. <laughs> that's why I did volunteer to set stuff on fire. Diff standard again. Two plus the guaranteed, so three. Okay. You only have three snake? I have three decks. In no stealth? Correct. Jesus. Jeez. City. Hey, you teach you to be sneaky, boy. <laughs> yeah, city, you know, hi. Did you not hide there? No, he hides in plain sight. No. Hi, you play yeah. hide and seek in your life? Hide in plain sight. <laughs> I, I, love see, it. I see you as a kid standing in the middle of the playground as a kid. You guys are dumb. They're going to be looking for people hiding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for having very few uh, dice. He's a kid that hides things. up in the tree. <laughs> he's a kid that hides up in the tree because he knows none of the other ones can get up there. There you go. Even better. Okay, that is step one. That was so small. So. All right. <laughs> All right, you make the way across the river, uh, finding uh, a nearby branch. You light it on fire, waiting long enough for it to stick. You shift to Krinos and move your way to the back of the large hut. You walk across it, or alongside of it, holding this makeshift torch up to the roof, lighting it a fire, a blaze all the way across. And then you end around to begin with some of the circular huts on the side. You were not seen. Somehow. Perfect. Meanwhile, Nightfang and Carly, I want to see some... Uh, give me a deck stealth. Okay, going into Lupus for this. Uh, same. Difficulty Lupus. seven, you got to beat three. I've... I... Okay. <laughs> I was expecting the opposite. So was I. <laughs> Four eights and a nine. <laughs> Four. Okay. You see people in the village milling about, going about their business. Um, the, the women have at this point with the children have come in. They've gone to the large hut with the water. You could see some steam coming from the top of the, the little makeshift chimney and the main hut, and then some black smoke. <laughs> you guys are relatively close. There is a commotion. They start moving toward the main hut. There are some running toward the river to get water. Let's see the shrewd. Yes. Um, once we are relatively close, I'm going to go ahead and cast the Shroud. Oh my god. Sorry, my cat's in my lap. Um, you don't say. Oh, we're good here. Yeah. you were just happy to okay, see me. We're good now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sending, sending a Gnosis. And then, um, you said it's kind of shaded? Moderate shade, yes. Moderate shade. Okay, that's still not an easy diff. Here we are. Boy, spend that willpower. Yep, I will be spending a willpower. Oh, I was looking for the roll, and it literally just says it right there in big, bold roll noses. And I'm spending one willpower. That would be uh, three successes at a diff eight, because nine is sunlight. So I figured moderate shade would be eight. Okay. Six, six is indoors. Um, so that's only three successes, which would be a 30-foot radius around where I currently am. Which is a ridiculous amount in terms of getting what you need to do. Yeah. 
So you don't. You have created a blackness that takes up a good chunk of the village and the altar and the river. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am then going to... Uh, uh, how About how high up is it? Eight feet. Eight feet. Um, it definitely reaches eight feet up, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, crazy. Yeah, so I'm going to have to shift into uh, Krynos to reach up and grab it. Yep. Because I don't have any other forms that will be able to reach. But <laughs> so I'm going to reach up to it in Krynos. Yeah, yeah. And uh, once I grab it, I'm then going to, like, grab uh, Night Thing and help lead him out of my shroud. Okay. Bring in a roll for this. Yeah. You move quickly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah once we're out. You move quickly. Your your hand at the the base of Night Fang's lupus neck, <laughs> sort of Carrying guiding him with me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. You get across the water, and I'm just gonna let out a quick howl. The shroud will dissipate the second I leave it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tossing the torch towards another house in booking towards the cliff, water, whatever. So, yeah, you guys are headed back to the the end of the waterfall. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. You leave the area of the shroud, and the darkness instantly dissipates. There's chaos, of course, because the village is goddamn on fire, and a bunch of black just happened. <laughs> the village is in absolute chaos. You guys start making your way back to your original point. You can hear the screams and the cries of the people. As you make your way, you hear hear the sound of a horn. Almost like a conch shell. You know that... You continue running back the way you came. You start running. Uh, You push in a little bit into the land, so you're not plainly visible running alongside the river. Mm -hmm. You could see just a little bit further than you were. Vines coat the area, the sun again being blotted a bit by the by the thick of the trees. You could see in the distance massive simian behemoths appear jumping between treetop to treetop in the distance. Things like ants appearing the size of small birds just buzzing around and milling. You navigate past mushrooms waist high. The light gets lower. You feel like you're being watched. Perception alertness. Standard? Mm Mm-hmm. Four. Yes, sir. Five. Three. And it's a good thing. Yeah, tell me about it. Jesus, this is probably some of the best rolls I've had <laughs> ever in one game. We're all still in Krynos? Uh-huh. Uh, I was lupus. Yes, you were, but that doesn't matter so much right now. You hear a whistling sound. You can't quite place it. And then suddenly you can. A pain in your right shoulder blade. Carly, it, it's excruciating. You stagger forward a few steps. Two of you can see the hilt of a dagger sticking in her back. That, that's going to be three ag. I'm sorry. Okay. No soak? You didn't roll your soak yet? No, roll your soak then. So maybe none. My bad. <laughs> I didn't even know I was getting attacked until there was a dagger in my back, which is, I guess, the point. <laughs> okay. That, I will say, that went immediately from absolutely terrifying to, okay, this is worrying. Two soak. Okay. So one egg. It's not fully in, but the dagger is back there. Uh, it seems to be made of black glass. 
The two of you look behind and can see the source. It looks like a cat? As if a white tiger was given a crinos form. It stands atop a large branch, his body shaking with rage, eyes glowing with a yellow pallor. He wields a large, jagged spear, the tip of which looks like a fang of some ancient horror. The back edge of the spear is serrated, though can only be described as a series of smaller fangs, though each is easily six inches long. And you hear... It's just the one, right? It's just the one. You hear a vicious roar as he leaps into the tree line, only to disappear. Roll your initiative. Fuck hell. Okay. <laughs> shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't know what it was going to be, but that's awesome. Nine, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Nine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> CJ? N. I'm sorry? N, one, zero. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, ten, nine, nine. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing? Yep. You cheaters. Yeah. Yes. You fucking liars. <laughs> I, I'm... <laughs> well, the joke's on two of you. Reroll. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, let's see. Oh, nine again. Six. Danny, mm-hmm. re-roll. <laughs> oh, God. Four. Really? Yeah. Re-roll? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go for four? Can Nine. you go for four? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I told you my, my rules went awesome today. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. So. That's good. Fucking refresh my memory, because we just played fucking <laughs> dice roulette for five minutes. Right? That will be I Night agree. Fang. Yep. Yep. Then who won second place? Me. Was it you? Well, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So two, three, four? Yep. Yes. Cause we, so he got nine. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. That's why you had to fucking yeah, three that's nines. Why the joke was on the two of us? Yeah. Three nines, Jesus. Where we could have shared initiative. <laughs> thing. Oh, it was. You can't script that. Best, right? No. Whatever best that guy is here, and um, I can't tell you his name. He'll probably tell you his name. No, so you hear that? You're in here. I don't think his you're name's Bell. Jin <laughs> yeah. Kui. Gross. Gross. <laughs> Is he wearing his your furry, your furry swim, creep? He's not wearing no speed. Sh- shut up. Swim shorts and an oar. <laughs> Night Fang, you're up. I assume I can't see him, right? You cannot see him. Okay, so I guess first order of business is try to get to Krydos. Spending or rolling. Probably rolling. I'm... I'm going to be rolling. <laughs> it's a dangerous proposition, but I understand. I. You even got an extra perm today. Yeah. Okay, that is. And it's still minus one for the realm, right? Yep, as long as you're in the realm. Okay, cool. So that is three. So instantaneous. Good job. And then I'm banking two. Yeah, I wouldn't let you guys get out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking to it, just trying to spot him, I guess, with. If that is possible. You said banking two? Yeah. Okay. And I guess trying to spot him would be. Um, I mean, that'd be a perception roll. Yeah. If, I was thinking, like, that's probably going to be my main action since. I, I kind of assumed it's going to be a diff nine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, even doubling so, this is my main action. Okay. But you have the two banked, so that's smart, yeah. by the way. One. One success? One success. You ain't seen shit. But you have shifted to Krynos and are ready, you hope, mm-hmm. for whatever's about to happen. 
Ricochet. Yep. So, okay. <laughs> razor claws, but can I bank a rage still? You can, but razor claws is your turn at that point. Yes. Which is fine because he's not like here my to turn fight was, anyway. Exactly. This is the first time I get to use this at this yeah. point. Yeah. Like my turn was to look for him. Yeah, because it, it's it's to sharpen it, and it's it's you, the turn is to sharpen them. But oh, and and it's a rage. Okay. So, Porter, I will say, your combat system makes gifts like Razor Claws seem less detrimental in using it in combat. Which is like having it prepared and everything. Because you could do the Bank the Rage to spend your turn sharpening it, but you could still act. True. And thank you. Like, you can't rage out of it and right. go spend a rage to sharpen yeah. No, but you'll have the Bank Rage. Which is why I'm doing it this way, yeah. Okay. So let me spend the two rage, because one to bank and one to use the actual gift. Because mm-hmm. it's the turn and a rage. Yep. And now it is minus one diff and plus two extra damage for rolls. Yes. Okay. You keep track, not me. You keep track of this. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yep. Preparing myself, getting ready. Grabbing a rock. Shing. 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 <laughs> hey, it's the first time I got to use this gift, all right? <laughs> and perhaps the last. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Out of nowhere, the form leaps down, spear at the ready, aimed directly for Nightfang. Okay. It's coming in uh, to your rear on the left. Mm-hmm. You have a banked, so it's got two banked. Well, yep. Yes, I'm but you use one at a time. Yeah, I was going to say, are you sure you want to dodge? You want to try to soak and do a counter? Temptation. <laughs> okay, I think I can soak it. Let's find out. Okay. So, yeah, try to soak and then do a counter. All right. If the spear slashes down into your back, roll for soak. You're all uh, healthy, right? Uh-huh. Except for him? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Um, let's don't take away from soak, so that's three. All right, that's going to be three ag. Okay. While that is happening, and this does not retract from your counterattack, because this is while this is happening. Okay. Oh, boy. His tail reaches around, grabbing the handle of the dagger, pulling it from M's back. Oh, okay. Go ahead and roll for soak, M. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Uh, uh, I'm glad I used razor yep. claws. Four. You soaked it. Nice. Because obviously it wasn't gentle about it. It was a rip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Set it in an extra two on the way out. <laughs> Oof. Okay, now you said you if you got a counter, CJ. <laughs> I'm just making sure I've got my dice ready. And yeah, I'm going to try just lashing out with my claws, trying to hit whatever part of them I can get. You got it, sir. Okay, okay, that's three on the attack. And then the damage is... Make it good. Yeah, you better make it good. Move these two guys away, just... Just do this. 
Okay, that looks better than most of my rolls tonight. Oh, good. Well, that ain't hard to do. It's <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, eight. Ooh. Nice. Sounded like a lot. Yeah, I imagine he's got a pretty big silk roll right now. Eight turns into three. Okay. Okay. You turn around. Your claw's swiping in his midsection. You're going to get a decent chunk right under the ribs. He growls and looks furious. Just the audacity of you. By the look in his eyes. Shit in a box. <laughs> like, that is that is the vibe you get from that look. It's not fury. Mm-hmm. It's a, just the audacity of you to touch him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Carly? I would like to... Uh, he is visible now, correct? Yes. Okay. I would like to uh, turn around and uh, take a swipe at him with my own claws, and I would like to bank a rage. Those are good ideas. So, yeah. I endorse those so, decisions. That's six successes. Okay. Is that damage or is that for the hit? Uh, six, oh, that's to hit. Sorry. Okay. So strength plus eight. Yeah. Strength. Yes. Strength eight. I just don't want you guys to think that I'm cheating. Mm-hmm. That's why I keep showing it. I don't actually think that you're cheating. Okay, thank you. Like we'll bust <laughs> balls because what the fuck? But not, not <laughs> yeah, not once do not take away, that. not on damage. Thank, thank God. There's a few of them here. Uh, one, two, seven, two. It's a good uh, soak. So it is your turn now, CJ. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, then if he is still close enough, then yeah, it is just slash it out with a or actually no, yeah, Ricochet goes before I do. Or after I do. Yes. So it's still to go with the idea. I'll you know, he looked at me with that. The audacity just to claw him. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna poke him with a falling touch if possible, which is my ri- willpower versus at a uh, see of his stamina athletics. Oh god, I hate that new role. Um, if you want to change it, no, we're doing no, the original. It's yet to actually use it. It's gonna be Dex Med, and you're welcome. Okay. I imagine his... his, his Fourteen. Fuck! <laughs> okay, yeah. So, I mean, if you want to do the old system, the diff is fourteen. We're the new system. <laughs> it's Dex Med Diff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. Athletics, it's plus stamina. Fourteen. <laughs> you're not making that. No. I mean, I guess you're spending a willpower, so all you need yeah. is one. Uh-huh. But... Yeah. So but I guess it doesn't matter. Two. You spend a willpower. So you get two. <laughs> All right, boom. You hit him. He hits the ground. You tap him, and he hits the ground. He ain't gonna do shit. All you gotta do is touch him. My turn. Your turn. Just fucking crashing down as hard as I can, both claws. Twice. Two claw attacks. Yeah, two, yeah, two separate. Or a single leap. Oh, no, it's two separate. That rips you off otherwise. Like putting them both into one attack. That's a, no, that, that's right. a waste of your shit. So, Dex Melee. I keep going away from them. Plank. It's Dex Brawl. So, yeah, Dex Brawl. I don't think this is going to matter. And it's minus one diff to hit because of Razor Claws. So, <laughs> It's stupid. <laughs> One, two, oh. three, four, five. So that's strength ten, isn't it? Yeah. So With razor claws. Yeah, because it's strength plus two plus four <laughs> plus two more strength is seven 
plus two for the razor claws is nine, plus two for the normal claw attack. The regular claw attack is eleven, plus the what did I say it was five or four? Oh, it will be four because it was five. Because it was five. Okay, so strength fifteen. 15. <laughs> I thought the roll earlier was going to be the biggest roll I did all day. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For the first hit. Nine damage for the first hit. All right. <laughs> Nightfang reaches over attacking the opponent in the shoulder. He drops to the ground, seizing the moment. Ricochet leaps forward, his claws at the ready. You land just before your foe, about mid-waist. You dig your claws in, right from belly button, slicing him up. You pull his rib cage all the way through throat. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he doesn't even have a chance to scream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Suddenly everything goes dark. Just for a second. Like someone turned a light off. Blackness and then everything is normal. The lights fade as if the sun was extinguished suddenly. And then back. The trees seem to disappear. They return again, sudden flashes of nothing, and then everything wants more. You can start to see through the trees. The pool of the waterfall. But the water's gone. You can see a cave behind where the waterfall was, but the water's back once more. It's as if reality itself is blinking in and out. Let's get to that cave. I know what better ideas. Let's go. Running towards the cave. Uh, I'm going to grab his spear. And go. Okay. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. You run for the cave. Again, sudden flashes. Things missing. Sections of ground. Section of the, the rock face. Um. The trees. The water. Suddenly blinking. They're gone for longer periods of time. You find your way into the cave. You start running through. The place smells of feces. Bioluminescent mushrooms, the only sort of light. You run your way through. Quickly, quickly, you feel like the cave itself is starting to disappear behind you. As you continue on, you're assaulted by flashing lights of various colors. The scent of blood in the air, screams, and the laughter of children echo through the cavern. You find yourself on the other side in what looks to be the umbral reflection of the cedar cave. After a long journey, you believe to find yourselves at home. The green seed in hand. The spear nowhere to be found. And that wraps up this week's episode of Rage Across the Internet. We hope you enjoyed the game. Remember, we'll be back in two weeks for our next episode, but don't miss our regular episode next week where we discuss Werewolf the Apocalypse. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed the show, please check out our Ko-Fi and join us on Discord. The link can be found on the forums at RageAcrossTheInternet.com Dot com. Dot com. And as always, keep your claws sharp, your head in a swivel. See you next time. See you next time. time. See you next time. time.